Okay, in this video, I'm going to be explaining further into detail on why you guys' tab strafe is not working on these settings that I dropped in my last video. So, the reason that it's not working is because you have to have... Okay, you don't have to have an Elite Series 2, but it's very important to have an Elite Series 2 to do it the way that I'm doing it. If you have a different type of controller, then I would advise getting an accessory tool like mine, like the Elite Series 2, and being able to switch the buttons on what you want them to be as long as you have capability of doing that then you're going to be able to do it just like the way that i'm doing it um the left joystick has got to be set to x which is your reload button in game um which that has to be set in the uh the xbox accessories tool okay you have to set this to x so please make sure that you guys are doing this and then in your game you have to go to your controller and then go to button layout and you make sure that rb is set to sprint and you make sure your grenade is set to l click now whenever you change this to left click it is going to mess up in game do not freak out do not freak out okay if you do if you do it the way that i'm explaining it to you and make sure that you change the button in your accessories tool to X, it will not do that. Everything will work just fine. Okay, since uh, since we're already doing this, I'm just going to go ahead and explain this also because I know there's somebody that's going to need it at some point. So, going back into the controller layout settings for Steam configuration. And as I said before, if you copy these settings, then I guarantee you that you're going to have no problems. Just literally copy-paste them, pause the video, watch. Or you don't even have to watch it. Just, just pause it copy paste it like it's so simple um and then you go you go to your uh steam configuration and then you pull up your joystick your joysticks are at the bottom left joystick needs to have a directional pad set to it you have to set it to directional pad it's very important and then on top of that you go into the settings it'll say most shift button this will this will not be set you have to set it to right bumper, okay? Everyone has to make sure that that is set to right bumper. And then the next thing that you'll have to do is you'll have to go through here and you'll have to add these. You'll have to add all of these, okay? You will not have these. And you'll, you'll, this will be the same. It'll say left up and then you'll do the th same thing that you would do for mouse and key. W, same thing. A, same thing. It's all the same. You just copy paste these. You're going to have no problems. And then in the settings for each one of these, you're going to want to make sure that it's on long press. And then you're going to want to go to your settings wheel and click hold to repeat and make sure that that's on. Also the same with this copy paste, make sure long press time is down. Repeat time is down. Do not put the repeat rate up. I repeat, do not turn the repeat rate up it is going to screw everything up. Okay. Now, on to the next thing that no wait that, that's literally it that yeah that's literally it you go to as long as all these settings are the same this is the most important thing and then like i said you go in to your accessories tool you can make sure it's put on x and then in game settings and make sure that left click is on equipped or grenade and then like i said you change it on your accessories tool for your controller that is the Best way that I can explain that to you guys, and I really hope that it helped you. If it did, make sure you smash that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.